if you've ever seen a picture of the Dalai Lama, he has this ineffable smile that exudes joy. And that joy feels contagious. It's like you can't help but smile with him. And people often ask the Dalai Lama, like, how is it that you're able to maintain this peace and loving kindness even in the face of uncertainty and fear and suffering? And the Dalai Lama has this great quote that I think explains it, and it's something that I come back to again and again in my own life. He says, if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. But if you want to be happy, practice compassion. (laughs) So I want to be happy, and I know that you want to be happy. So together, let's practice and cultivate some compassion for others and a whole lot for ourselves. Before we begin, take a moment and click the subscribe button and also check out my Patreon site. Patreon is a way for you to support the making of these videos and it gets you access to monthly live streams where we hang out, talk yoga and wellness, and I answer your questions. So if you're a patron already, thank you so very much. And if not, I invite you to check it out. And actually today's practice, Yoga for Self-Compassion, was inspired and requested by one of my patrons, Olin Montes. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm probably not, and I apologize. But Olin, thank you so very much. Um, This practice is near and dear to my heart, and um, I really appreciate the request. So this is a slow flow. Um, No props necessary, but if you have blocks, blankets, cushions, anything at all that helps um, support your practice, then I encourage you to use it, okay? Make your way to a comfortable seat. Find a, a firm place of grounding foundation. You want to feel the earth beneath you. And then close your eyes. Hands can rest anywhere they feel comfortable. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. Lift the shoulders up toward the ears. Open mouth, exhale. Beautiful. One more, just like that. Big breath in. The shoulders rise. Open mouth, exhale. Relax. Let your shoulders melt. Come back to an easy breath in and out through your nose. Bring a soft awareness to your brow. Feel the lines on your forehead smooth and soften. Relax your eyes and your cheeks. Relax and soften your jaw and your tongue. Just continue to sit nice and tall, but with every exhale, feel any tension, any tightness dissolving and melting into your breath. Let's offer ourselves now some sweet loving kindness to set the intention for our practice to soften and open our hearts to feel more compassion, more joy, more love. I'll say these words out loud and then you repeat them silently to yourself. Here we go. May I be happy and healthy in my body and mind. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I experience the truth of who I really am. A beautiful light, intimately and lovingly connected with all creation.
And may this truth fill me with joy and courage. Gratitude and deep compassion. Let's sit for a few more moments, eyes closed, allowing the energy of these intentions to manifest into your practice and into your life. Blink your eyes slowly open. Make your way to your back. We're going to spend a few sweet moments opening up our hips. So very important to have a little bit of hip opening in your daily practice. So with the right foot on the ground, the right knee bent, place the left ankle on top of that right thigh. Flex the left foot. And then maybe this is enough for you. You want to feel a little sensation, a little stretch in the left hip, the outside of the left hip. The idea here is to press the low back and the sacrum down to the mat and to feel like you're lengthening the tailbone forward. If you want to take it a little deeper, you can interlace the hands behind the right hamstring or in front of the right shin if that's accessible. And as you close your eyes, relax. Gently draw the right knee toward your chest while at the same time pressing the sacrum down to the mat and lengthening the tailbone forward. Just breathe. As you exhale, release your hands. Let's do the other side. Left foot comes down, the right ankle on top of that left thigh. Flex the right foot. And again, check in with your body. This side, this might be enough on this side. Or draw that left knee in. And as you exhale, close your eyes. Allow your body to settle in. Gently press the low back, the sacrum downward. Lengthen the tailbone forward and allow your shoulders to relax down to the mat. As you exhale, release the hands, extend both legs long, and let's take a big stretch from fingertips to toes. Reach, wiggle your fingers and toes. Big breath. Open mouth, exhale. (sighs) Draw knees into your chest. Roll to your right side and push yourself up to a seat. Sweep your legs around behind you, finding tabletop. And from tabletop, curl the toes under, lift your hips. Push back downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here and pedal your feet. Drawing one heel down, bending the opposite knee. And breathe big, full, deep breaths into the back body, into the back lines of the legs as you stretch. Feel that stretch in your calf muscle, your hamstring. Good stuff. Now, coming to stillness, let's play with some spinal waves, working some mobility into the spine and the hips and some strength in the core. So as you inhale, wave forward to plank pose. And as you exhale, dip the knees down, sink your hips back to your heels and lift the tailbone back to downward dog. Nice. Again, like that. Inhale, wave forward to plank pose. Exhale, dip the knees, sink the hips back to the heels, lift the tailbone, downward dog. Let's move like that a couple times with the breath. Inhale, plank, exhale, hips to heels, push the mat away and lift the tailbone. Inhale, plank pose, exhale, take it back, lift the tailbone, downward dog. Feel that wave rippling through the spine. Inhale, exhale. 
one more time. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, let's take it back. Back to downward dog, beautiful work. One more great big breath in. This time an open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Bring your feet together and take your right heel up to the sky, three leg dog. Push through your right heel, lengthen through the back of the right leg. Exhale, right knee into the chest, and as you squeeze it in, shift forward. Step the right foot through between your hands. Bring the back knee down to the mat and take your hands up to the sky, Anjane Asana. Now notice my back knee is underneath the hips here. And gently draw your navel in toward the spine. Lengthen the tailbone down, so that's usually a little tilt of the pelvis up, and then push the pubic bone forward. Feel your belly engage, right? Nice. Right hand to the left wrist and reach up and over. Big side body stretch. As you inhale, release the wrist, both hands back to the sky. Great big breath in. Exhale, bow off the left corner of your mat. So reach the hands off the left corner of the mat. Swivel your back knee so the left toes face off the right side of the mat and then slowly sink your hips toward that back heel. Ah, This is a nice stretch in the right hip into the right hamstring and the IT band. We're also getting into the low back here, so feel that and breathe into all the places you feel sensation. Keeping the back knee where it is, inhale, rise and extend the right leg long. Turn the toes in. Left hand to the mat behind you and take your right hand up and over reaching the right hand behind you. And from here, this modified side plank position, lift the right leg nice and high so you feel the right glute and the outside of the right hip turn on. Keep your right foot flexed and push through the heel. So from the right heel through your right fingertips, a long straight line, breathe. And as you exhale, right foot comes down, rise up into gate pose. So the right hand of the thigh, left hand of the sky. And as you exhale, let the right hand slowly slide down the shin. Nice big side stretch from the left hip all the way through the left fingertips. Feel that. Inhale, turn back to face the front. Front knee over the front ankle, hands frame the front foot, and step the left foot back into a low lunge so the back knee is lifted here. Lift your heart off the front thigh. Wing your arms back, nice and strong through that back leg. Inhale, take the hands up to the sky, crescent lunge. So stay with a deep bend in the front knee. And from here, let's take eagle arms, left arm under the right. So left fingertips come to the palm of the right hand and bring a little bit more weight to that front foot as we glide forward into one leg mountain pose. Lift the left knee. Keeping your eagle arms, extend the left leg, point the toes and slowly cross the left thigh over the right for eagle pose, Garudasana. Now you can wrap the left toes behind the right calf or just press that left foot against the right shin. From here, slowly begin to bend the standing knee, finding a place of depth, that place of balance, right, between effort and ease. Lift the elbows up toward the eyes, push the forearms away from you and breathe. This is a challenging balance pose. If you're falling out of it, it's okay, right? Just come back and give yourself love and compassion. <laughs> now, unwind the arms and the legs as you inhale. Rise up, hands to the sky. Extend the left leg, point the toes, hold and breathe. And float that left foot all the way back to a low lunge. Hands come down, frame the front foot. We step back, plank pose. Let's hold plank for a moment here. Wrap the elbows in. Again, draw your navel in and lengthen the tailbone to the heels, just like we did in Anjaneyasana. Slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly with a firm core. 
Nice. Untuck the toes for cobra pose. Slide the hands back a little. Push into the heels of the hands. And then push your heart forward. Draw the shoulders back. Gentle squeeze of the shoulder blades at the top. And avoid clenching your butt here. <laughs> Exhale, slowly lower. And sink your hips back to your heels. Child's pose. Nice. Let's hang out in child's pose and just soak up this earth energy. Come back to our intention of compassion, loving kindness for ourselves. Notice if you have any notion of not good enough or you're falling out of poses. Just let that energy dissolve into your breath, into the earth. Come back to a place of allowing. Inhale, come forward, tabletop. Curl the toes, lift the hips. Downward dog. Feet together and take your left heel up to the sky. Push through the heel, lengthen through the back of your leg. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Squeeze that thigh into your belly. Shift forward and step the left foot between the hands. Back knee comes down and hands to the sky, Anjaneyasana. Again, take a moment here and check in with alignment. So back knee underneath the hips. Draw the navel gently in, lengthen the tailbone down, push the pubic bone forward, feel the belly engage. And now the left hand grabs the right wrist, take it up and over. Breathe, <laughs> don't forget to breathe. Big full breaths all along the side body, opening it up. Inhale, both hands back to the sky, release the wrists. And as you exhale, bow, hands off the right corner of the mat. Swivel the back knee so the right toes face off the left side of the mat. And then slowly let your bum sink back to that back heel. Take it nice and slow, breath by breath. Notice where you feel the sensation and breathe into those places outside of the left hip, the left IT band, oh yeah, and the low back. As you inhale slowly, we rise, keep the back knee rooted where it is and extend the left leg long, turn the toes in. Right hand to the mat behind you and let that left hand reach up and over reaching behind you. Spiral the pinky fingers in. And now begin to lift the left leg higher and higher until you feel the left glute and the outside of the left hip activate. Push through the left heel, reach through the left fingertips, breathe. For three, two, one, exhale, lower the left leg and rise up into gate pose. So left hand to the thigh, right hand to the sky, and slowly as you reach over your body, let the left hand slide down the shin and breathe into that juicy side body stretch here. Inhale, turn back to face the front, bend into the front knee, front ankle underneath the knee. And then lift the back knee so we're back to that low lunge position. Lift the heart off the front thigh. Wing the arms back. Inhale, take your hands up to the sky. Crescent lunge. Again, let's settle here for a breath or two. Nice deep bend in that front knee. And eagle arms right under left. So right fingertips to the left palm. Bring more weight to that front foot. And we shift forward into one leg mountain pose. Allow yourself to fall, to be messy there. It's okay. Slowly extend the right leg, point the toes, and we cross that right thigh over the left for eagle pose. Again, you can go for the wrap of the right toes or just pressing the right foot against the left shin. Slowly bend that standing leg. Lift the elbows toward the eyes and breathe. Relax the face, relax the jaw. As you inhale, we rise, unwrap the arms and the legs, take the hands to the sky, extend the right leg, point the toes, hold, and float it all the way back. Beautiful job floating back to a low lunge, and we step back to plank pose. 
Let's hold plank for a couple breaths here. Wrap the elbows in. And now, with a firm belly, we come down to forearm plank. We'll fire up those core muscles even more. This is such a great exercise for all of the stabilizing muscles that help protect your spine. Those are the ones you really want to focus on. Push into the earth, round through the upper back, draw your navel into the spine. And keeping that strong core, push up to plank pose, slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly. For one more cobra pose, slide the hands back, lift your heart, push the heart forward, draw the shoulders back, gentle squeeze of the shoulder blades at the top, and come all the way down. Beautiful work, my friends. Hips to heels, child's pose. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Let the forehead come down to rest softly on the mat. Again, let's take this moment of gratitude, soaking up some earth energy here and allowing anything, anything that feels tight or anxious to dissolve into our breath back down into the earth. And sit back to your heels. Sweep your legs around in front of you. We'll take a forward fold here. Open up the back lines of the legs. Feet hip distant apart, inhale, reach tall, great big breath. And exhale, slow fold. Now take it really slow here as you reach your heart and the crown of your head forward. So each exhale, work on lengthening, or each inhale rather, work on lengthening the spine. And each exhale, allow yourself to deepen a little bit. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale deepen and continue that little dance all the way until you find your fullest place of expression and allow yourself to relax inhale slowly rise Little counter stretch here, alter pose, bend the knees, hands and feet come down. Press and lift your hips. Let your head fall back. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Lower your sit bones and come to your back. Draw both knees into your chest. And let's take a little sweet rock side to side. So this rocking motion here, it helps to relax the sympathetic nervous system, which is a really good thing because that's our fight or flight response. And we want to get out of that into rest and digest. Let's take the feet up in the air for happy baby. Grab the outside edges of the feet and let your, the weight of your arms here do all the work. So feel the low back drawing down toward the mat, elbows drawing down toward the armpits, and we can come back to our little side-to-side -side rock here. Mm, take a moment and honor yourself for finding the time today to give yourself love and attention. Fill your own cup. We really need this. It's not a luxury. It's a necessity, giving ourselves the time and attention we need to restore, renew. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Release your feet and find Shavasana.
begin to bring a little movement into your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists and ankles both directions. And inhale, take your hands overhead. Big breath and a big stretch. Feel a sense of peace, space, gratitude washing through your body. Exhale, knees into chest. Roll to your right side. Push yourself gently up to a seat at the top of your mat. Bring your palms together at your heart and close your eyes. Let's end our practice by offering ourselves some more loving kindness to set the intention for the rest of our day. Again, I'll say the words out loud and you repeat them silently to yourself. May I be happy and healthy in my body and mind. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I experience the truth of who I really am. A beautiful light, intimately and lovingly connected with all creation. And may this truth give me more joy and courage gratitude, and deep compassion. Let's raise our thumb knuckle to the point between our brow. We bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Mm, mm, what a what a joy to share this practice with you. I feel you out there. And um, I hope you have a beautiful day. Until next time, love and light. <laughs>